Hello to everybody. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to interpolate your data from one grid to another. This operation is known as remapping and is implemented in CDO in the command remap. I prepared two files that we are going to use. Uh, so the first the first file is uh, an output of a notion model MBOM and is the uh, potential temperature, so theta O. Here, the second file is an uh, is a reanalysis product, the ORA reanalysis, and is the temperature, uh, the temperature. Uh, so, uh, first step, let's look at these files. So, the MPOM file here. Uh, here the first level. So this file has uh, two levels. One is uh, at 60 me 6 meters and another one is at 310 meters. And also has three um, uh, three time steps. So I can go through and also the time steps. And okay, so this has multiple level and multiple time steps. I choose these files to make our to show you how this interpolation works also for different level and uh, interpolate different time step. Uh, moreover, I choose particularly MPRM output because the grid is irregular. And so you can see that even just if you want to plot this data, uh, you may need to uh, interpolate on a different grid. So now let's look at uh, the aura data. So T underscore uh, or NCV and NC, I'm using NCV again. Uh, okay, if we plot Aura, we can see that uh, we have a long lat regular grid. I uh, can plot the two together so that you can see the difference. And so you can see on the right a curvilinear uh, type grid, and on the left a long lat, a long lat regular grid. Okay, so the goal, our goal is to interpolate this data on a regular grid. Uh, the first step is to um, the first step is to uh, build our uh, a file that contains the description of the grid. So the the command we are going to use is cdo grid des. CDL grid has uh, returned the description of the NetCDF file, the grid description of the NetCDF file. So if you do that with the MPOM file, we see that it will, it will tell us that the grid type is curvilinear, grid sites, and other information. As you can see, there are a lot of numbers. Those are the coordinates, uh, in this case, uh, I believe is longitude, uh, for each grid point. And this is quite a big file. Now, if we do the same for the aura grid here, we can see that the description is much shorter. Why? Because uh, as it is a regular grid, we don't need to store all the coordinate or the coordinate of each point, but uh, it's enough to know uh, the resolution and um, the resolution and the number of grid points and, uh, and uh, the reference point and other uh, and basically that's all so uh, so okay so what we are going to do now it's I'm running again this command but this time I am redirecting this output in uh, a text file so I will call it aura dot uh, grid grd Okay, I'm doing that, and now I should have one more file, and actually there are three files. I look at what the content of Aura Grid, and this is the content. So now this file contains the description of the grid that I will use uh, uh, during my remapping uh, operation. So this is also, we can call it a target grid. Uh, let's now interpolate uh, our data with CDO. So we'll do CDO remap. Now, the command remap can be used. Uh, can can use different algorithm to 
to interpolate. So if uh, in this case we are going to use bilinear, but there are also other. So if example we use a conservative, you would you would use or bicubic you would use here like remap bic. But in this case we are going to use uh, bilinear, so we put bi bil. So cdo remap bil, uh, and then I have I need comma. And then I need now to set what what grid I want to use as target. So we use aura dot grd, and what file I would like input. So I have this. Uh, I have this. Uh, oh yeah, theta, and then an output file. So this input file and an output file. The name of the output file. Okay, so I will just I will add og. That stands for Aura Grid. Let's try that, and is computing the the interpolation. Uh, we'll take a few seconds. Okay, eight seconds. So let's check the result. Uh, let's first see if there is the file. Yes, that's the new file here. And now uh, let's check the results. So NC view. Again, uh, okay, we can see that this is the same grid as the one that we have seen for Aura, and the, the, the interpolation has um, has been performed uh, well, as we can see that uh, uh, there is the uh, um, Gulf Stream here, and Warm Pool, and other features. So the interpolation is fine. Again, we can I can also look at uh, different level. So 310 meters step, and we can see that still uh, looks uh, looks fine. Uh, let's close it. So again, let's look at the files. We we are done basically with the interpolation. So there is one more important feature of the CDO remap that we need to know. If you have to perform the remapping for over uh, tens or hundreds or thousand files. You would no, or even just ten. Of, you would not use uh, the remap build uh, command as we used. What you would do is you would split this operation in two phases. One is the you would one is the uh, the computation of the weights, the interpolation weights, which is a matrix that is used in the interpolation procedure. And the second phase is once you have this matrix, you just uh, uh, apply and perform the actual uh, interpolation, uh, but uh, in a way which is uh, much faster. And so you would save a lot of time. This is because the computation of the weights is uh, uh, it takes time. But if you are producing the interpolation, if you are interpolating similar file uh, with, from similar from uh, same source and target grid. You would uh, you would perform you would compute the weights only once. So let's uh, try to let's see how this works. So I would use our file here. So uh, the command is cdo gen uh, bill for bilinear. If it's b cubic or other, you would say gen big or others. Now you would use aura dot grd, and then you would use the the output, the input file, and the output file, which I would call w underscore mpiom to aura dot nc. Okay, now we are building these uh, these weights that we are going to use uh, with the command cdo remap. So cdo remap. Uh, and now I will not specify the kind of remap, the algorithm that I want to use for the remap, as this is already uh, specified by uh, the, the the file that I'm going to use for the interpolation, the weights file. So again, aura grd, and now I need an extra input, which is the weights. Okay, we have the weights. And 
Okay, we are all set. We need the input file and the out, an, out, an output name. Now we put aura grids.nc. Uh, let's see if this works. And this should be faster than the, the previous uh, remap, which took about 8 seconds. Now we just needed 4 seconds. So if you have to re, re, perform this interpolation over multiple files, we will save. Uh, you probably you will say four seconds, uh, uh, which is half of the time. So that's all.